Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the uh, pre-release Bobcat stream. To my left, we have Patrick, who's a game designer, and uh, he has, along with the rest of the team, helped brought this kitty cat into fruition. So um, today, yeah, we're going to try and find one. We'll yes. see how successful we are. They are elusive little uh, creatures. But uh, and then we also have, of course, Stefan, who is you might have heard him tapping away in the background. Uh, He'll be the disembodied voice who'll be following us around throughout the hunt. <laughs> that so, is me. They after after the last stream, they locked me away again. <laughs> we only bring stream. him out for special occasions on the From yeah. my windowless chamber. Yes, and I might as well introduce myself again, of course, for those who haven't been following last week. I am a new community manager here at Expansive Worlds. My name's Graham, and I hopefully will be around here for quite a while going forward for many more streams to come. So, right, let's get on with hunting some bobcats. So, yes. Patrick. Oh yeah. Um, First of all, what what kind of areas should we be looking for the bobcats in, would you say? So what we've decided is that we're going to have the bobcats uh, spawning in the reserves Whiteheart Island, Loggers Point, River Bayou and Settlers Creek. Mm -hmm. um, and right now I've gone us already prepped up, so we are going to basically be in the most northern part of this reserve uh, and try to stick to the forest areas because that's where they'll be mostly. Okay. Right here. All right. So once Stefan is ready with his uh, inventory, I guess we'll head out. Yeah. Well, I'm good. I'm good to go. Are you going to be hunting in that T-shirt, there, Stefan? <laughs> I'm 100% going to be hunting because in that Because the bobcats are not a good idea. <laughs> the bobcats are pretty uh, wily, aren't they, when it comes to sensing things? I mean, they the, are pretty elusive. They're, is it sound, scent, and sight they all react to? Or? Pretty much. Pretty much. The they're going to be very, very spooky. Mm. Okay. Ah, wait. I have. Uh, I have just the thing. So either Stefan stays back at the lodge, or he gets properly dressed. Ah, <laughs> it's such a nice t-shirt. <laughs> uh, you guys. Okay. Yeah, El Spiro, uh, Call of the Wild, we actually stream on Tuesdays, so you can join us at the same time to see some Call of the Wild. Alright, that looks... Pretty good. Looking a bit better there. Righty, let's head out and uh, see what we can see. All right. So, I think we can go ahead and just try to run out of this area Yeah. real quick. Shouldn't be too uh, many wandering around in camp initially, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, we're still in the green pretty yeah. much. Okay. All right, a good idea is to prepare yourself. So a little scent eliminator. Mm. Maybe a little face paint, oh, yeah. stuff like that. Can't go wrong with some face paint. What was that other thing you had in your hands a minute ago? Oh right, yeah. This, this is thing. Uh, this is an item that we're going to introduce together with the bobcat. It's called the electronic collar, mm -hmm. and this is going to be the player's main lure to bring out the bobcats to his position, essentially. We'll okay. Be hmm? We'll be showing that a little bit later. Awesome. So let's we'll see what that does in, in a while. Can you tell us what the max weight and score is for bobcats? I don't know. We want to share that just yet. We'll let people discover that, I think, in the wild. You know, yeah. once the numbers start coming out, you can see if you've got a big one or not. And, uh, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, apparently our stream title says Call of the Wild. Sorry about that to confuse you there. Whoops. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it says, it says Hunting Lodge. Mm. Sorry. Apologies. But we can't change it now, otherwise the video is going to be split. Yeah, exactly. Sorry so about just, that. Just keep it. We just keep it. And uh, South African Hunter, the answer is yes. Ravnus Fox is asking, is the score going to be based on weight alone? I mean, what's the scoring going to be like on a Bobcat? What are we looking for? Uh, uh, so the score right now is based on the skull width and the skull height. Okay, so weight's not going to come into it at all. In fact, or I guess that's going to be a part of having a larger skull. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah sort of. I mean, you'll still be able to see how heavy the bobcat is. Yeah. So. And there will most likely be competitions based on finding a heavy bobcat or not. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. So you have the, uh, the normal predator caller there as well. So does that... Um have a good effect for the bobcat as well i mean as well as sort of the traditional things we've been using it for so far I think. Yeah, yeah the plan is to be able uh the electronic color will not be the only lure that you can use against mm. the bobcat it will be the best lure to use against the bobcat however but you can also use the predator jackrabbit collar or the motion predator decoy okay uh, but the chances are 
Uh, like I said, not as good as the e color. Yeah, so the best way is, I guess, to have a spread of everything. <laughs> the more the more the better, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, will bobcats attack, or are they more prone to running running away? They are more prone to running away. They mm. are uh, felines, and they do not like humans. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I just saw Alina is uh, in the chat now as well. Alina is the producer of the game, so she will be able to, in addition to what Patrick has to say, uh, answer some of the in-depth questions that you guys may have. Mm. <laughs> How fast are the bobcats in meows per hour, Ron <laughs> was asking. <laughs> the puns are already beginning, oh. eight minutes into the stream. <laughs> Would we want anything less? Um... Sorry, what was it? Uh, Keyports is asking if you win EMs in the stream. We haven't got any plans for it in this stream, but you know, tune in for one in the future. I'm sure we'll have some uh, EM competitions running for you. Yeah. Is that new caller or just Jackrabbit? The one that you had a minute ago, that was just the, the standard one we have so far, the Jackrabbit caller. Um, but if you missed it, a minute ago we briefly talked about the e-caller, which is the new electronic caller we'll have in the game. And uh, Patrick will talk more about that in a while when we get to uh, a spot where we want to use it. Exactly. exactly. When are they going to get released? Uh, soon, <laughs> as yeah. we say in development land. Um, when it's finished. Yeah, when, it, when it's finished. We'd like that to be sooner rather than later, let's say, but we can't really promise until we're 100% there. So. Mm -hmm. Is the new caller only for Bobcat? The e-caller, is that going to work for other predators? Uh, on release of the Bobcat, it's only going to work for that, but we have plans to have it work for other animals in okay. the future. So if you get it, it's something you can look forward to extra functionality a little way down the line. Yes. Cool. <laughs> that would be an interesting function. <laughs> if it was just a general caller and you could buy different sound CDs for different animals. You could have like an MP3 player. You could hook it up to your Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> One, uh, yeah. How much would the new call cost? cost? I don't know if we had a price set yet. We, or... We're still uh, in the process of determining yeah. the price. We'll get it finished first, and then <laughs> we'll, 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 an, we'll announce it. We'll hmm. announce it once uh, once it's set. Scrooby just shot his first ever Rocky Mountain elk at four hundred twelve point five score. <laughs> Congrats! So you're saying Woodland is the best place to find them? Are we talking about strictly in the woodland? Are they likely to cross around open spaces like we have here? Or? They they will mostly be in the woodlands. Occasionally, mm. they may wander out into open fields, but it's not going to happen very often. Yeah, um, since they're uh, generally a little bit more shy. Mm. So I guess a uh, tree stand is probably going to be a good way for waiting for them, so you can get a nice high view above all the brush and obviously you know yeah, yeah. the grasses and stuff that you're normally going to find in there. <laughs> yeah. I think I brought an extra one with me as well. Yes. Ah, perfect. If you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> so we're asking again which reserves they're going to be in. So it was again, it was Loggers Point. Uh, Loggers Point, White Heart Island, uh, Salir Creeks, and uh, Rotorua Bayou. The northern part of Rotorua Bayou. Okay, so f yeah, four reserves total. Nice. How yeah, skittish so will they be compared to Fox? They are actually going to be a little more skittish than foxes. Mm -hmm. So probably one of the more harder animals to hunt, if yeah. not the most hardest. Yeah, there, there were tales being told before the stream, in fact. It was like, you know, we hope we can find one, because <laughs> they, <are, laughs> they don't like to be discovered. But, you know, that's part of the fun of having a predator like this and trying to pin them down. We, so. already, we already have our plan B set up. Which part of Rob Whiteheart Ron's asking? I don't know if we want to go into full depth about exactly like, you know, the A to Z of finding them just yet, but um, safe to say you will find them in Whiteheart. <laughs> uh, as for weapons, uh, I believe weapons is anything you would normally use in a Coyote, like a 223 or something like that. Exactly, exactly. They're sharing the same ethical weapons list, mm. the Coyote and the Bobcat. Yeah. I was just saying to Stefan before the stream, actually, this is a, a nice animal to get some extra use out of the 223 semi, because I do like yeah. that weapon, but I don't tend to it's use true, it. And you don't, you don't really use it that, or I mm. at least don't really use it that often. Um, yeah. For most of the animals that I'm hunting, I'm mostly going with the K98. I'm normally going with bow. I mean, if one of, like, turkeys, for example, or it's, with the bow, it's, a, yeah. it's a allowable weapon for turkeys, but when I get turkeys, I want to get six at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Is there a difference yeah. between males and females? Is there a patterning difference? Or? No, there there won't be that much of a difference. It's only size difference. Okay. <clears throat> Will they climb trees? No, I don't think that's uh, the case. Yeah, we know it says uh, Call of the Wild. We haven't uh, changed the title, but we can't do it now, otherwise the video is going to be split. So yeah. sorry. Apologies for that. Uh oh, looks <clears throat> like we're getting a little rain. And we have a new mm -hmm. follower, Deuce. Thank you very much for dropping that follow. Will you make it to where a dog can corner one? So you're, as in using dogs actively to hunt. I don't know if that's a direction we'll go in with the hunter. It's, it's, uh, yeah. No, no not at the moment. No. no, we prefer tracking and, uh, you know, cool, cool hunting rather than uh, active dog hunting. Is the face paint really needed or is it just an added measure? Just an added measure. <laughs> no, style points, all important exactly. style points. So. <laughs> and will there be uh, rare versions such as Albino. Yes, there's going to be rare versions, but yes. we, we won't tell you exactly what you're going to find because, you know, again, half the fun there is about you guys getting the first one and sticking it on the forums, perhaps. So. Exactly. Will scent hounds chase them? Oh, you mean in terms of uh, like the random distraction that scent hounds do, right? So. Hmm. I mean, they, an, an untrained scent hound can be distracted by wildlife, can't it? But yeah, you won't use it to hunt it. <laughs> what is holding up the release? I wouldn't say we're having a hold up. It's more a case Not of that things are being really things are being developed. <laughs> yeah, there's no hold up. <laughs> we can't. Yeah, it takes it, ta it takes it takes time. You have to do a lot of testing. Um, it's a lot of development time and also mm. a lot of development resources that go into this. There's nothing that you can mm. build from you know from scratch to finish in in one week. You have to imagine what has to go into this. It starts with you know the idea and the game design that patrick does then we go into you know designing the whole animal 3d animation then the skin has to be developed uh, you know it has to fur has to go on it has to be tested and tested and tested it's a lot of um it's a lot of work that goes into this <laughs> yeah ravenous fox depending how the stream goes that might be a, a final option for us to use we'll see we'll see if we can do it the proper way first but uh, as mentioned before they are uh, skittish little guys and girls so yeah yeah and um and just to to mention that here since we're at the relative beginning of the stream we're playing on uh on beta so we're playing on hot code this is not yes this is not this is not the finished version hmm? just in case you discover you discover any bugs, which so we can may have. Sorry, go ahead, Stefan. Yeah, because it's a test environment, so. Yeah. Am I a Pink Floyd fan? I think you're referring <laughs> to my forum uh, image there, perhaps. More of a Star Wars fan. So <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw, but it was Dark Vader with a you know, off the wall, whichever album it was uh, artwork. Um, as you can see, actually, on the min map now, you can see the icon for an e-caller, so we should be creeping up to one soonish. Yes, very soon. Yes. We can show off how it uh, works and how it looks. I want your t-shirt, Graham. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> I'm wearing it. Let me get that electric cooler. Yeah, soon. Coming <laughs> to a store near cooler. you soon. Sounds like a much cooler name, though. All right, so here we have the one of the electronic colors I planted down here. Um, can probably do that again real quick, just to mm -hmm. show how it looks when you put it down. <laughs> so this is basically how the electronic color works. You're going to plonk it down, and then you can activate it by holding down B and toggling the bobcat lure, and it'll play a sound like this, which is sort of subtle, but. Uh, it doesn't irritate the player that much. Mm. Yeah, I so say that's important. You want to know it's there, but you don't want to sit there listening to it for half an hour squeaking. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I think we can let this uh, do its thing. And I guess, uh, Stefan, do you have a tree stand? Uh, no, I actually don't. <laughs> I can plant this extra one for you, or maybe not. Let's see. And thanks for the follow, uh, Ariona1. If we get a tree that I can put this on. Yes, you're an, you're an atizer, if that's how your name's pronounced. Apologies, we didn't update the uh, name of the stream before we uh, got going. So we are, are actually playing Classic 
for Call of the Wild. We'll be doing that on Tuesday. Apologies. So what is the max distance to activate it? FR Bugs is asking. Bugs? Yes, FR Bugs is asking. Is that to like switch on and off? Or are you talking about the kind of lure range in grabbing the attention of a bobcat? I'm going to go over there to that hunting tower. I'm going to oh, go okay. down there. That looks good. Do some sniping. So there's a couple more people have asked actually. Uh, the cooler initially, when it's released, will only work for Bobcat, but then, like a little further down the line, once we add the functionality, it'll work for all of the predators. So. Mike, a Curry King is following us now. Thank you. Excellent name. I approve of the Mike, a Curry King. The curry love. Mm, <laughs> the Curry King. Yeah. <laughs> there's an actual thing in uh, in Germany. We have it's actually pretty pretty well known there. The Curry King food. That's an interesting question from Bullet for the Damned, actually. As far as like the behavior of them when they're doing their thing naturally before disturbed, will they be chasing things like rabbits as wolf chase elk? Or... Uh, no, not not in that sense. But okay. uh, rabbits will choose to actively avoid bobcats. Mm -hmm. So if you see a herd of rabbits running in one direction, you want to go the other one and find a bobcat. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope one pops up pretty soon. This is... This is bobcat hunting. You need a lot of patience. Mm. Yeah, they're very, very uh, easily scared. Very, very quickly spooked. <laughs> I heard of rabbits, oh my. It would be something to see. <laughs> yeah, Ron's asking, do they call? Uh, they do call, but mm -hmm. they very, very rarely call. We try to find a little balance in gameplay there. Yeah. And Akifne dropping a follow, and Johannes is also dropping a follow. Thank you very much, guys. We really appreciate it. Are you getting any luck by your tower over there? Uh, nah. Not really. Mm -hmm. Not really. I see no movement so far. Yeah, this is gonna be tough if they're not gonna give us an initial call. <laughs> mm. I thought I saw something, but it was just a stick. <laughs> <laughs> stick hunting. It's, mm. uh, it's a difficult yeah. business. Have we bought anything special for Halloween? Um, there's been some ideas thrown around, but we'll we'll see what happens on Halloween. Watch this space, I guess. Yeah. What is the attraction radius of the new cooler? Do we want to give out that kind of mechanical information directly, or would we rather people discover that themselves? Let's just say it's big. Mm. <laughs> Still scouting the area here. Yeah. My binos. Really no movements. Just no uh, we have to be very patient. This is really, this is really a game of patience. Yes, game of cat and mouse, one might say. Ah, yes, <laughs> yes indeed. <laughs> the cat, electronic mice in this case. But, uh... So, what rifle have you chosen to use in this particular case, Patrick? So, the rifle I chose to use was actually my favorite rifle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going with the 9.3 Time 62. Nice. Um, just because I like the looks and the feel of this weapon. Oh. Uh, alternatively, you can also use a 10mm, which is quite effective as well. Mm. <clears throat> Oops. Do they travel alone or together? They will mostly travel alone. Yeah. You're feeling like I see stuff moving, but it's just shadows. Yeah. A pumpkin shotgun says them bones for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> pumpkin shot. We'll we'll see we'll see. It shoots uh, pumpkin seeds in that case. Hmm. Uh huh. I hope this cat is not as elusive as Bigfoot. What Bigfoot? There is no Bigfoot. such Bigfoot. What? what? There oh, is no Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> there is a good question from Ron. 
do color stack so coyote color and electric color or you uh, or can you have more than one electronic color uh, no you can only at have the same time you can only have one electronic color uh, at the same time <laughs> levi west wants killer monty python rabbits for halloween <laughs> Hmm. Ravenous Fox is asking us what our plans for Bigfoot are. There is no Bigfoot. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if I box with another good question, how many coolers can we have on a reserve? So, uh, the limit is set to eight. Okay. At the moment. And do you find much added benefit by you know setting up a nest as you would with sort of other coolers, perhaps, or like you know foul decoys, or is it you know one will give you a perfectly good coverage in an area? I'd say one is pretty much just enough to yeah. give a pretty good coverage in this area. But maybe you want to be uh, more effective and just cover the whole reserve. That wouldn't be bad either. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe we should move to another point. Because it doesn't seem like there's any bobcats in this area, really. What do you think, Stefan? Ah, uh, yeah. Let Stefan that. decide. So that way, if we leave the tree stand and we see one running into the woods, it's his fault. <laughs> there is, there's, there seems to be nothing here because I can't see anything else either. And I'm on an open field on a big on a big hunting stand, and I see nothing. So everybody's hiding from us. Peculiar. All right, let me. They're all hiding. They know we're here. Taking this little guy with me. Is there going to be an eight cooler bundle? Uh, it's too hard to say what, what we're going to be doing yet in terms of store offers and stuff. We'll uh, see what happens when uh, launch day comes around. But, uh, I'm sure there'll be all kinds of interesting bundles set up for those of you who want to get a good start in uh, snagging a bobcat. Don't forget the other tree stand. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I do <laughs> kind of want to go back for it, but then again, I have pre-planted tree stands all over the place. Okay. So I think we'll be fine. I'm going to try to bring us to another area that has, mm. or that I believe would have bobcats. Gaming Mo's asking for an Africa map. We've had lots of requests, but you know, as with any content, we can't really say yes or no until the time comes. So uh, just say that you know we always take your feedback and on board, and uh, it does go into our decisions when we decide what to make for the game. So. We'll see what the future brings. When will the roaming bug fix be released? So there was the issue with the the roaming creatures, wasn't it? That's been actively worked on, I think, just this last... Uh... Yeah, we've been putting quite a lot of time on fixing mm. that particular bug. It'll be released soon. Soon, yeah. And Crickroll, I hope I'm not butchering that name too bad, uh, is following us now. Thank you. And Devia 21 as one after the other today. It's crazy. Will there be a new map end of this year? Again, we can't really give time scales until we're ready to say. Um, when, we, when we're ready to confidently have something to talk about, you can guarantee that you're going to hear about it here on the stream or on Facebook and everywhere else. Whereas we can never really say when you guys ask us, so <laughs> apologies for that. But uh, we appreciate the enthusiasm. Thank you, Gandishia. Of course, that's not to say it won't happen. It's more to say that we yeah. can't say if it would or wouldn't. So, yeah. wait and see. <laughs> A bunch of boars, at least. I had the same thing earlier. <laughs> I was sat waiting for a kitty, and I just heard calling boars the whole time. It was uh, uh, pretty boy with like an English national park with the Graham twist on it. Okay, I'm not sure what the Graham twist might be. <laughs> I'm really intrigued about that as well. Uh, it'll be like special customized decorated hunting lodge by me as the interior designer. Maybe, maybe finally a proper fish and chips card. Oh, oh. now that's something I can get behind. <laughs>
<laughs> Levi West saying we have no dangerous animals in England. And yeah, I think the angry swan though, you say that's the scariest thing. They they mean business when they get going. I've had on occasion to defend my picnic with a camera tripod before or because I had a swan decided that it just desperately wanted to kill my backpack. So uh, yeah, when they get going, they get going. Yes, especially if they have young ones. We were attacked by two swans when we uh, were on a kayak trip and they had young ones. <laughs> DJ Mix googled Graham and said mistakes made. I'm interested to what those might be because I don't think there should be uh, anything scary under Graham. But, uh... Hunzoli, the next uh, follower. Thank you. You guys are dropping these follows faster than I can read them out. Yes, Bongoy's electric callers are placed on the map. Um, he's asking though if he's not the host, is he able to place them on a, on a multiplayer map? Or is that a host only privilege? I believe we said to be a host only on okay. a multiplayer game. Oh, oh that was just a four. <laughs> <laughs> we should have bought a bow as well so we could at least uh, get some bacon whilst we're looking for cats. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a board track. Yeah. Thought so. Is there going to be a survey for next maps and animals? That's something that I want to actually look into quite soon, Ugbo, is sending out a uh, community survey and seeing what the thoughts are from you folks in terms of what you like, what you don't like, and which, of course, nothing, and uh, what you would like to see in the future. So, uh, yeah, in the next few weeks and months, you'll uh, definitely hear something about that. Mm -hmm. Gaming mode says there's a bug with the lodge that happens and gets stuck inside and under it. If you're having mm -hmm. bugs, you're more than welcome to go to a forum and uh, please do tell us in the dedicated bug report section we have there. It might be that that one's on record, I'm not certain, but if you take a peek and if it's not, then please do write it down with uh, as much information as you can and we'll do our best to get that fixed. Right. So I'm sorry for the trouble in the meantime. Bullet for the Damned, we're trying to get between the heavy wooded areas, <laughs> is the trick. But unfortunately, yeah, this field's en route, so... Uh, and yes, DG Mix, uh, so they're going to be on four reserves in total. So, um, yeah, you'll be able to get them in different areas. Oh, I uh, found a bobcat track, at least. So there should be one nearby. Hopefully I didn't spook it mm -hmm. by now. <laughs> and it's relatively close to my e-collar, so that's pretty convenient. That's nice. So hopefully I'll at least smack him in the general area for a while. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's grab ourselves a bobcat. Oh, yes. Pressure's on, Patrick. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, shit. Will bobcat dens around the map we're hunting it be added to? That's not something Same. we've, uh, you know. No. no. Jimbo Daddy says he wants to thank everybody for this incredible game. So, Patrick and the rest of the team, big thank you from Jimbo Daddy. You are welcome. Very kind of you to say so. But for the dam says that the Bigfoot does exist, and that's who we feed the lazy employees to. People don't leave, they get eaten. I see. So, you know, if we don't ever hear from Stefan again after tomorrow, we know what happened. <laughs> oh. The Bigfoot deserves <laughs> Just got eaten. Ooh. Mr. Pretty Boy says, do they leave tracks like usual? Uh, yeah, we just yeah. spotted a track just now, so... Um... They do. Same uh, old droppings and uh, normal footprints. And bedding clues. Do the devs know how not to fall to their deaths? I think, regardless of who you are, it happens. <laughs> hey, when, when did we ever? When did we ever fall to our deaths? Yeah, that never, that never happened. I nearly fell to my death. Okay, but I didn't die. I was charged and killed by several animals, but I didn't fall to my death. 
yet. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't happen now. <laughs> that would be that would be awkward. Oh boy. Levi West is asking if bobcats will have feeding and sleeping areas, but that's uh, so it's a call of the wild mechanic, isn't it? We don't really see that uh, here. They will go to feed zones or to zones that they think they can sleep in, but mm. but that's more of a, a behind the scenes kind of mechanic than something that you can like track on a map. Pretty or, much, yeah. Pretty much. Um, I'm thinking let's uh, try to stick here for a while. Maybe that bobcat that yeah. I tracked earlier is kind of attracted. Sit down and pretend to be a bush for a bit. <laughs> yes. Don't mind me, I'm a leaf. So, I mean, when the bobcats are reacting to these e-callers, are they, how close are they going to come up to them? Are they like going to be drawn to the location? Are they going to be like circling the area? or uh... They will be drawn to an uh, area around the location. Mm. Of the oh, e-collar. Did I just see something up yeah, here? I was thinking that as well, but I think there is something. Uh, it's a bunny. Is, is that, that a bunny? Is it a bunny or is it a tree? I think that's just a leaf moving oh, it's a leaf, back okay. and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hold on. <laughs> let's do some investigation. Uh, looks like a leaf. That is tricky because you've got the bush with the leaf next to it, so it looks like you've got a torso with the head by the <laughs> side. <laughs> it looked very much like a bunny, though. Uh, I agree. I have that after a while playing the hunter. I get like hunter oh. vision where everything yeah. looks like an animal. <laughs> if you if you oh, don't at least oh, once this fox. Oh, oh, that's a, a bobcat. That's a bobcat. There that's, we go, guys. I don't know where he's going now. No. He's just Did he just stop behind the rock? Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What? It's it's behind it's behind the rock. It's behind the rock. Oh, it's God. running to the right. It's printing really fast. Do you yeah. have a It's coming right towards us. Oh wow. What there. Is it? It's right in front of us. Huh? Oh. Wait. Oh, I, oh I, can, I can I can drop it. Yeah, uh, if you have the chance, go ahead. Yeah, okay, try to... it's, it's it's printing away. It's printing away. Oh. It's... Devotee, no, this isn't Call of the Wild. Apologies for the uncorrect title on the stream. This is Hunter Classic. So. Okay, but now now you guys at least know. We know they exist. So <laughs> they are uh, real. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen one. Now Did we all you pick go. up your scent or something? We're we using. Uh... That was very erratic behavior, actually. So mm. I've never experienced yeah. that one before. No, we're both using scent eliminator, and we're both prone. Mm. So and yes, they are very fast. They are athletic. Uh... Mm. I think they walk as well, but uh, I don't know why this one was. Maybe it was startled by something in the environment. Who knows? Bongboy says they look amazing. Yeah, I think the whole team has done a really good job with the bobcat. I mean, uh, all the animations and the. You know, the te fur textures, everything. They look awesome. Should we try to track that bobcat, actually? Because I'm thinking... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be coming back. Yeah, it looked like it was had definitely somewhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pick Length this, cost. Pick this Thanks for the follow. I hope I pronounced that right. Pretty boy, the bobcat don't actually actively chase other animals, no. But uh, smaller wildlife will avoid them. Let's see exactly what it was doing. Okay. Hmm. Play some catnip, should calm it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a catnip consumable in the store. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a bad idea. Maybe a fluffy mouse on a string. Cats going I, don't, I don't know. Like my, my cats went bananas when I bought them catnip. Yeah. Laser they pointer. Went, that could be another, uh, <laughs> another bit of kit. crazy. We are so gonna find this bobcat. Mm. Does the ELA stay active across multiple sessions, or do you need to switch it back on each time you log in? Uh, I believe you need to switch it back on each okay. time you log in. Fix far. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Did he get ready for the 4,000 follower stream? Mm. If it continues like this, that's awesome. Yeah, fleeing, so he definitely, yeah. He's definitely gone in this direction. Was that the first fleeing track we picked up? I was looking at the yeah. chat. So. That was actually the third, I think. Okay, I was too busy looking at the chat for questions. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe 
just see if I can spot anything from up here first. Mm. Mm. I see no movement. Oh, well, it's nice to see that the e-caller was doing the business, though, anyway. It's just unfortunate yes. that we apparently weren't being stealthy enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Will we have the chance to stumble on a bobcat sleeping like you can do at other animals? Or are they always going to be alert and wandering? If you are stealthy enough, you will actually stumble upon one sleeping. But their senses are still pretty heightened, even when they're mm. asleep. We have no date for this update yet, but uh, you know it is the our favorite soon phrase. So uh, soon, will there be fur variations? There will be fur variations, but uh, it's like Graham mentioned earlier. It's going to be like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, you have to see which ones you can find. Will Bobcat competitions be added with the release of the Bobcat? I think we could probably say that was a likelihood. Yes, I mean uh, we'd like you to obviously. You know, get straight to hunting them, so that's a, a nice fun thing to do. It. Do they stay nervous for longer than normal animals? So in the case of this one, obviously, we've made it flee. Is it going to be on the alert for a particularly long period of time? or uh... Uh, Not what has... No, it's uh, going to be roughly the same as the other animals. Mm. But still, we have to take into account that when we're trying to stalk it now, its high senses are still present and correct, so we could still just cause it to flee. This so, is uh, true. Yes. This is going to make it a little bit harder. Oh, four. Mm. <laughs> mm. Anto Hunter 23 is now following. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, uh, enjoy thanks. the streams going forward. Be a tough one. Yeah. Are we developers? Uh, Patrick here is a game designer. Um, I'm a community manager. So Patrick's the interesting one. He <laughs> makes the games. He's been uh, putting a lot of work into this here, uh, Bobcat. So. Do we need to change the batteries in the cooler? <laughs> Three dollars each. No. Uh, no. Once well, you've got the cooler, it's uh, it's yours for keeps, and you will not need to change any batteries or anything. Although bobcats don't actually hunt rabbits, will rabbits still attract bobcats? Um, uh, no, not at the moment. I mean, they could perhaps be found in the shared area, but that's not any particular like thought behind that. It's just would be a coincidence, I guess. Yeah. How old am I? Yeah, I'd actually like to make that a guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 40. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. So everybody can just guess in the chat how old you are. Maybe, maybe you can win a few M's. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> My Don't age start what you're not going to finish, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> 78! <laughs> That's a pretty good <laughs> guess! Oh, damn, uh, 78. I can't say you're too far Jesus. off. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I guess What's I this here? Ooh. I think oh, we have him. We have a bobcat. Yeah. And I do not want to miss this opportunity. So let's see if we can just use this instead. Stefan, get down. Stefan, get down. I am down. <laughs> get even more down. <laughs> no. Uh, no, maybe not. Actually, doesn't seem to be reacting. We, uh, it's not really moving too far either. So let's just can, try can this get real quick. If we count down and shoot together. So we got the e caller down. Let's see if we can uh, get his attention. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now it's. Uh, on the move. I mean, I have a pretty good shot right now, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Stefan, how's your view? Good. Like... 
Well, now it's behind the bush. Yeah, it's just it. creeping behind the tree. Okay. Now I can see it again. Yeah, now we got a shot that would say, but... Darn it. I'm not used to these key bindings. Should I go ahead and try to give it a shot? Uh, yeah, countdown, yeah. and I'm gonna shoot with you. Alright, let's just wait for it to... Alright, three... Two... One. I think we got it, actually. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, right dropped it's not, in. It's not the running away. There was my. There we go. <laughs> People are saying your weapon is too hard for this animal. It's um, this one should be ethically allowed. This one is ethically allowed. We are actually still in the process of kind of determining what's going to be finalized. Okay, um, so that might still change it. That might still change us. Hmm. Yes, 9.3 was enough. It dropped like a rock there, Revenous Fox. So, <laughs> as Patrick said, there's, you know, obviously this is still uh, hot code, as it were, so it's not the final product. So we might uh, rebalance which calibers you can use, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when it's live. Mm. Dev wants to know if we're going to add night hunting to the game. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, that would be a, a big, big change, I think. Yeah, that would take a bit of time. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's... Um, not going to be the immediate on the, on the list of stuff to do. Right? There it is. Oh yeah. Shall I go ahead? I guess there we can we go. take a look at it. This is a common bot cut by the pro variety. So. Oh wow. Yeah, we we definitely got in a few good places. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, we need to get a trophy shot for our first on-stream bobcat kill. Go on, Stefan. This might be the only. <laughs> yeah, <bobcat laughs> this might be well. the only on-stream bobcat kill. So, <laughs> you guys, you were here for the first and potentially the last. I'm um, not sure if I can position him good enough though. I'll just put him kind of right there. Ish. Yeah, that looks like a okay shot. <laughs> <laughs> I can spend like hours posing my trophy <laughs> shots. It's uh, yeah. <clears throat> Right, so we have 15 minutes left for the stream. Let's make two. Let's try it. I'll uh, try it out. Will they have more skin patterns? They're saying yes. There will be more skin patterns. You're going to find, you know, the the rare ones, etc. But we won't tell you exactly what there is yet because we'd love for you guys to find them and uh, you know share them on our social media and forums and all of that fun stuff. Why aren't there any animal cubs or calves in the game? I think that's a question of ethics, really. I don't know if we necessarily want to have babies being hunted. But, uh... <laughs> Bring a slingshot, Bring a slingshot, into slingshot the for the rabbits. Well, <laughs> back where I come from, people have been known to use slingshots hunting rabbits and the like. But, uh, yeah. Are we gonna make snow versions of the bobcats? Because mm, they can they can be found in snowy environments, can't they? It's, uh, not yeah. planned as of now. At this stage, it's just the four initial kind of temperate reserves that we have. So <laughs> we got some feedback on our mission naming. Why is the bobcat spotting mission call not called I taught I thought a pretty cat? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Um, <laughs> that's an idea right there. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's Warner Brothers might tell us off if we did that, I'm not sure. This is true. Have the special Sylvester skin bobcat running around. Them. <laughs> well, I'm I'm impressed. We got a bobcat live on stream. It was it was a bit worrying at first before we came in, you know, because they are so uh challenging to hunt. Yeah, I was actually <clears> pretty surprised myself. <laughs> Pretty lucky. Ooh. How about a crossbow pistol? Hmm, hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, are they generally used in hunting so much? I mean, I know they exist, but. They do exist, yeah. That's the question if they're used in hunting. Hmm. This we've not really looked into that much. Ever thought about thermal vision cameras for hunting so you can be like the predator? <laughs> Maybe ask to call the wild team for the night hunting, see what they can. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a thermal vision in there. 
Maybe ask, maybe about the crossbow pistol. Ask uh, Elena really nicely, or we can have like a blade crossover for Halloween or something. <laughs> <clears throat> will the players hear an electric decoy? So we'll of course hear it. We've heard it in the stream so far. But will guests in your uh... yes, yeah. uh, everyone should be able to hear it. Hmm? Um... Was the bobcat we shot male or female? Oh, that one actually didn't I don't uh, remember. notice. No, no uh, look. Pretty big, so I guess it was a male, actually. Mm -hmm. Snowland's asking about traps. We have had lots of requests about traps recently, actually, and I did I did feedback that to the team along with Stefan. So uh, we'll see what happens in the future. But uh, yeah, it stays exciting. And don't forget, if you're enjoying the stream so far, feel free to give us a follow so you know when we're going to go live next, which will be uh, yeah every Thursday for Classic and every Tuesday for Call of the Wild 1600 CST or CET when we get to the winter times. But, uh, is an Arctic wolf planned? Again, mm. we can't talk about stuff until it's out there, but we will take your, your uh, suggestion on board. Segwin's just arrived to stream actually and asking if we have a slight date range for the release. Um, we don't, but we'll say soon. And when we say soon, yeah, it's going to be quite soon. <laughs> <laughs> Judge by that what you will. <laughs> okay, Ron McTube has uh, gone back to the future and told us it was a male bobcat and it was 19.6 kilograms. Either that or he screen screenshot it for posterity. <laughs> Oh, that was just a bird? Hmm. So we're asking will small animals like rabbits and pheasants spook when a bobcat is near, or will large animals like deer and such spook too? Uh, smaller animals like rabbits and peasants should spook mm. my bobcats. But deer and the like will uh, not. Uh, surprisingly, white-tailed deer would actually also spook, since bobcats okay. are known to um, go after mm -hmm. white-tails. Okay. Yes, Alkbo, you just missed us bag of bobcat, actually. So, sorry about that. If you uh, catch the VOD after we're done with the stream, you should be able to watch the, uh, the video of the recording, and you can uh, see our great bobcat hunt. Yep, and if YouTube doesn't cross my plans again, like it did for the past two days, mm. <laughs> uh, the stream is also going to be on YouTube tomorrow. Yes. Have you shot any bobcats yet? Yes, indeed, Elk Bauer, we shot one. It was pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm very luck based. <laughs> Luck based. Uh, it was masterfully it. done. Skill. <laughs> Skill. Professional is at the helm here. So. Perfection. <laughs> That's the spirit, Stefan. <laughs> Feels and thrills to saying this is the other best game in the world. I'm presuming the best is Call of Art, perhaps, but yeah. I would like yeah. to think that's what you're going to say, Phil. <laughs> uh, this is where he comes out and surprises us. I think he distinctly told me earlier he loves Destiny. So. <laughs> South African Hunter is happy that Phil is here so that he yeah. can tell him to write stuff down. Yes. How much is the price on the caller? We don't know just yet. Um, have to wait and see, unfortunately. But you will, of course, uh, announce it when the time comes. Will there be a new trophy pose for the cat? Yes. Yes, there will. There will. OK. Interesting. Well, the will the animals. bobcat swim? Will are are we going to see swim? any uh, aquatic bobcat, you know, like crossing uh, the bayou, for example, swimming from uh, island to island? Or? It will not swim, but it mm. still can traverse across uh, shallow water. Okay. It's 
Zegwin, that sounds super interesting. He's made a small program with drop down menus for ammo and animals that quickly tells him what's legal and what's not. If you haven't already, you should definitely could drop by on our forum and uh, share the knowledge. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people that would really appreciate to, uh, yeah, see what you've made. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, I really hope we'll be lucky enough to get another one. Uh, I think, you know, we got one. Uh, that's uh, anything now will be uh, the cherry on top, I think. So, mm -hmm. but so, please do uh, fire on with the questions. If you have any more questions at all about the Bobcat or the new e caller, please do uh, go ahead and chat, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. A lot of boars around here. Boars everywhere. It's a lot of bacon. So, Stefan, I hear that you might be uh, unleashing another clue for a certain Call of the Wild game after the stream. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So, uh, definitely worth keeping an eye on uh, Twitter and on the Steam group. Mm -hmm. There so may be an announcement within the hour. Oh, here comes Phil with the Bobcat hype. <laughs> oh, <laughs> flooding that chat. <laughs> Not that chat, spam! Um, so being asked again if they're going to travel in groups of two or more, but you've said already they're primarily a solitary uh, thing. Well, be they ever coincidentally travel in groups of two? Or uh... There is a chance that a male and a female will be uh, okay. together, but it's very, very rare. Mm-hmm. If you shoot a bobcat with the wrong round, will the doc say that was despicable? <laughs> with the, the the Sylvester reference again. Did you have that, did you have that cartoon in Sweden? With, um, Sylvester the cat and Tweety Pie? I've actually never seen it. But no, it's they, the grey cat and little yellow bird. They're always fighting each other. Yeah, I saw it a lot in the... Wait, what is this? Oh, I, I think that's he doesn't picky. like me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, jeez. Is it dead? I think you missed it. Well, okay, that was <laughs> no, it, that was unexpected. I didn't think I was that attractive. Yeah. Jeez. What happened there? Well, he's he's gone now. <laughs> Changed his mind. He realized there were two of us, and was like, <laughs> nope. Yeah. I mean, there is a marker there. I don't know if it was that blood or was that a. Uh... Well, I'm track. pretty sure I got it in the head. Maybe I didn't actually. No. Uh, probably... To me, it looked like it was a miss, but. Um... I'm sure Doc will tell us off when we log out after the stream <laughs> yes. if it wasn't. <laughs> there's an email waiting for us. Yeah. It's already waiting by my desk, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a footprint. I forgot to go. Okay. Uh, I think I missed it. Mm. Caught me off. Thanks for joining, Devotee. Remember, if there's, uh, you know, if, if you cannot catch the whole stream at any time, you can always catch the video on the channel afterwards. But it's yeah. really great to have you here whilst we're live. And on YouTube, obviously. And on YouTube again, Stefan. Yes, true. <laughs> Well, if there were any bobcats just now in this area, they're probably yeah, they're sure all gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mister. The Hog. bobcats and the boar are working together, and they have their the boar bodyguards. Or uh, you know, How many bobcats are on a map, approximately? I don't think we'll answer that kind of mechanic question, unfortunately, pretty boy. But uh, it's more a case of you'll have to go out, find them, and try your luck, I'm afraid. So. What is Doc's actual name? Well, Doc is a mystery. He's an enigma. No, He's the man, only Doc. known as Doc. Yes. Doc, it's like, it's like Prince. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or... It's his rock star name. So. Yeah. Levi West, we do or actually... Ronaldo. Doc does forward all of his email to us, so I hope that you haven't been being... Nasty to dog. He only has good intentions in mind. Or does he? <laughs> or does he? Well, that's. Yes. 
It's a shame we couldn't hear one of the bobcats call. I mean, we have said it's not often they do so, but it would have been yeah. interesting to uh, hear what we should look out for when they're live. So. This is true. Hopefully you guys will get the chance. Yes. Oh, Ravenous Fox is coming with the, the word for word doc quote right there. <laughs> <laughs> Rui is from Uruguay, from the other side of the planet. Mm, hi there, thank you what for joining. What time is it where you are? It must be pretty early, right? Jimbo's asking again which weapon we're using. Oh, the weapons we're using. Mm. Uh, currently using the 9.3, uh, mm. time 62, and I also brought the 10 millimeter, mm. just for some fast shots. Yep. And as we mentioned before, we're still kind of tying down what the final uh, ethically allowed guns will be. So we'll yes. see what happens when it's live. Can we show one in the trophy lodge? Um, no, not this time. We'd, maybe that's something we prefer that you can uh, discover once you've snagged yourself a bobcat. <laughs> now there's an interesting question. If you could pick any voice for Doc in the famous people, <laughs> who would you pick? <laughs> Morgan Freeman, I think that would be an wow. excellent choice. <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds like a great choice. Mm -hmm. Then anything is better with Morgan Freeman. What about Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, no, there <laughs> would be a lot of yelling and swearing. Yeah, but then you would, you would sure never leave a winged animal out there again. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. There would be yeah. some motivation. Will the 17 HMR be ethical? I've heard it discussed in that it could potentially be. This is potentially, mm. this would potentially be ethical, but it's still going through some testing. Yeah. So we'll see. Hmm. You can get all the information when we uh, are ready to launch and the goodies are all available for you to try out. What about Doc as Ozzy Osbourne? Doc as Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, I thought I saw something moving over there. I thought I saw a head pop up, but I thought it was a deer. But, uh... Yeah, it might have actually been a deer though. Yeah. It's still I'm pretty far away. Alrighty, we're getting close to wrap up time now on the stream. So, if you have any more questions or uh, little nuggets of knowledge you want to know about the Bobcat or the e caller, now is your chance. If not, you can always ask us on Facebook, Twitter, on the forums, or Steam, or wherever else we can be found after the stream, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Scrubio had just tuned back in, so that suggests he was here and then went. Unfortunately, yes, you did miss our Bobcat. Um, if you grab the VOD afterwards, uh, the video on demand, that is in techie speak, uh, either on Twitch or YouTube, after Stefan's uploaded it, you'll be able to see that uh, hunt in all its glory. Indeed. Will there be a bundle for the new Call of On release? Again, it's hard to say exactly what the, the setup will be in terms of the store when it's on release, but of course we'll make sure that you can get all the gear that you want in some manner or another. I found another Bobcat truck, actually, or droppings at least. So there was a Bobcat in this area. I am kind of cu curious if that was the one. But... Mm -hmm. well, it's quite a fair way from where we actually took the other one. Okay, there were like and we had we, we had actually scared it from the opposite direction to here, so that would suggest this could be a new Bobcat. This is true. Okay. We actually got a call, but I didn't hear it. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's coming from over there. Should we try to... Yeah, we'll see then. Okay, stream extension. Let's see if we can bag a second bobcat. <laughs> this is going to be a miracle. Any more new animals in the pipeline? Well, you're looking at one right now, hopefully, Toy Soldier. You should hopefully see the bobcat. Um... Hmm? Now that there's a digital cooler, will it be expanded for other animals? Uh, on launch day, it'll be solely for the bobcat. But as you know, in the following time, we will expand that for other predators. So. Alrighty. Which uh, direction were we uh, looking at? Oh, they see the marker on the map there. Yeah, I'm gonna hope that it comes from over those, uh, mm -hmm. over that ridge. Perhaps. What percentage does the rabbit caller have in comparison to the e-caller? I don't think we'll go into percentage clearly, but um, the e-caller is more effective and over a greater radius than you would for the, uh, the jackrabbit caller. This is correct. Okay. Will they roam interest. in the south of Logos Point too? I think they're map wide to some extent, aren't they, on Logos Point? In they any are... wooded area. Exactly. Mm. Uh, you will probably find a few of them over there as well. 
Ravenous Fox is telling us to spam the cooler. We have the e cooler yeah. down. It does all the spamming for you. It's the, amazing. You know, the e cooler is constantly active, so yeah. it does all the work. Mm -hmm. Luckily. Oh, that was a plant. I saw that too. I saw the orange shade yeah. of the uh, plants there. <laughs> like, oh. All right. I'm afraid to breathe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, the stream it's just suspense. goes silent. <laughs> it's going to hear us. Oh. Everybody be silent. I see it. Do you see it? Yep. Where? I see it. Turn right to... Uh... Behind the tree. I'm looking, I mean, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking for a bearing. Yeah. Uh, it's to the, to the west, slightly to the south. Exactly the direction I'm looking at. Uh, but looking? it's behind a tree now. Mm -hmm. But it's coming down. It's coming down the hill. It walked into the into the bushes and the trees. But it was it was walking right towards us. Oh, hold on. I need to get serious here. Yeah. See if we can get two in in one stream. Then you can definitely hold your head high in tomorrow's morning meeting with the team. <laughs> the Tori Smith saying White Hot Island is his favorite map. Yes, mine too. And yeah, it's going to be great to find some bobcat roaming around there. Okay, I can't, can't find my binoculars, so I'll just... Mm. Do you know if it's still there, Stefan? It is running. It is running? Yeah, it is running. Towards or away from us? Uh, it's running in a circle. Mm -hmm. uh, right where I'm looking at. Behind the behind the big pine tree. If See you... the, big, the big pine tree? Right in front oh, of us? No, I think I just... Oh yeah, yeah there, there we is. go. Yeah. Why is it running in a circle? Mm hmm Well. Um if you can get a shot on it then by all means. <laughs> uh, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty difficult from here. Because the tree's in the way. Well we've got a clear shot on it. If we can time it. <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to No, this is better. Oh, yeah, okay. as you can see, it's uh, this is us, what happens when you're playing on uh, hot code. So this is still uh, the work in progress build. I oh, know it's too fast. Mm. Hold on, maybe. Okay. Oh. Now he's long gone. Right. Oof, that was not good. Oh! Oh wow! Wow! Nice okay. shot. <laughs> there we go. Bobcat oh, number that two. Was, that was not. That was impressive. Getting one on the move, nonetheless. My training with Widowmaker and Overwatch paid off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the circling behavior shouldn't have been there. It's just we're using a test build right now. So, uh. but regardless of that, once the normal movement pros proceeded, uh, I'm impressed you got such a fast moving target there. Yeah, that that uh, yeah <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I'd say. Hippish no, the Hunt is asking if we're one or two calibers too big. We haven't nailed down what the ethical caliber is yet. As mentioned, we're still on a test build here, so uh, we're cool. not certain where that's going to land just yet. So here we have the bobcat. Mm. Yeah, it was just a oh, there it is. Pile of flowers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> appropriately all pretty. All right, let's see what it is. So it's a male at eleven point three kilograms. It was a little one compared to last time. Yeah, mm. and we managed to get it in. Mm. Johanna's favorite shooting spot. I guess that was the benefit the of butt. having a particularly heavy <laughs> caliber at this time. It was, uh, yeah, definitely did the job. Pretty much okay, well, I think All that's right. a, an excellent time Oops. to uh, there we go. Well, wrap, wrap up things the stream, up. I guess. Yeah. So those yeah. of you who've tuned out and tuned back in again, you got to see us take a bobcat, and in a particularly stylish manner too, I might say, Patrick. So. <laughs> that yeah. Was a flashy ending, yes. Yeah. So um, thanks for joining, and yeah. And, yeah, next uh, Tuesday from side, will be. From my um, side also, uh, oh yeah, that's Stefan. Also goodbye, mm. uh, because this was actually my last stream since I'm going to be leaving the mm. company, as uh, some of you may have read on Steam or on in the la latest status update. Uh, Graham is going to be taken over from me, yeah, from next week on, mm. and I'm going to be heading out to seek new adventures. So thanks, uh, thanks for everything. It was uh, really awesome streams in the past. I just calculated it, and I think we did 72 streams. Uh, so it's uh, quite quite a bit, and um, yeah, thank you very much and uh, happy hunting. Just from uh, Stefan actually has a thread up on Steam, which she said farewell. Which uh, particular Steam Hub did you put that in, Stefan? Uh, it's in a general chat 
in the Call of the Wild Hub. Okay, That's can where... you have you put one up on the forum as well? If maybe if people want to say goodbye on the forum or uh, yeah, in the for in the forum it's uh, in the status update. Great. Um, okay. Cool. So section. please do come in and say cheerio to Stefan if you have not done already. Okay, so thanks for joining for the stream. We will uh, see you all on Tuesday, I hope, for the Call of the Wild stream. Otherwise, uh, see you next Thursday. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.